joists and a T-pin and try to put the ink down for expansion joists. Not working out too good, huh? Uh, maybe operator. What is it done? Just uh, too thin a line or just wanting to spread too much? Too thin a line. Let's see what happens. I'm going to do the whole line and then we're going to pull up the rubber. Let's see if it's done better than I think it has. Yeah, because, uh, you know, being in HO scale, that's going to be a pretty fine line there. Yeah, one inch line, which is about what a concrete expansion joint is, if that. Yeah, most of the time you're doing, being lucky if you get three quarters. Depends on the summertime or wintertime. Depends on the guy pushing that saw too, what size saw blade he's got. Well, of course, nowadays they do it with a saw. Used to, they did, and they just they did the expansion joints when they poured the concrete. <coughs> yeah, that was that was when they were in the forms that mattered. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get this under. Maybe pleasantly surprised. Well, I'm not. All right, here we go. We're going to try and do the uh, expansion joints for the gas station tonight. Uh, what I'm doing is just kind of dividing everything up. Got this one rectangle here, so I got center line here on this. Drew a line here. Bigger rectangle. Got the center here, which I need to draw that in. Oh. Let's see what uh oh, he's doing fifteen and a half. I'm gonna do a fourteen. Fourteen foot squares. So you had a paintbrush in there on that toolbox or something? Paintbrush. Smallest thing you got. Please. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, I'm fixing to make it smaller. <laughs> And shorter. Right. Oh, this could be dangerous. Lay that down. This is going to be fiddly or tedious or something anyway. Alright, so I'm painting those uh, lines in there like that, that working alright for you, John? Huh? Do not talk to the maestro while he's at work. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <coughs> You don't have to go deep at all, just all you want to do is scratch that so the paint will go down inside. Did you get that one cut all the way down? Watch that arm on that knife, John. Move that knife. Jeez. I want to do first aid on you. get some of this painted up so we come back start laying ballast down on it kind of doing a little backwards here
You like that? Joe, yeah. if you'll uh, hand me a piece of that wood on top of the uh, roll around. And I'll let you take that. Alright. Were you using this car? No, he's got another can up there. Oh, okay. No, I didn't run out. I'm fixing to clean the top of the reel. I like to use a piece of wood. Yeah. That seems to take it off very nicely. Although, uh, hand me a bright boy just in case. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of them, Joe. Right here in the center, I think it was. Straight in front of you. I think there's a couple of bright boys in there, isn't there? Thought I saw them laying there. I know I've seen about oh, two, three yeah, or four bright boys yeah. laying together. They're getting camouflage color themselves. <laughs> All right. Now that Miss Jennifer has shown me how to lay the ballast. I shall attempt it. That one open, John? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Just kind of work on cleaning that. Yep. Okay. Okay. Alright, go to the chaffers, see what my next move is. Yeah, ballast glue time. Oh, the smell of alcohol. <laughs> and there he dropped to drink. <sighs> what if you little gin or vodka? <laughs> Turn the face with that once in a while. All right, let this dry, run a bright board across the top of the tracks, run a train across and see what happens. <laughs> 